next topic, we are going to talk about the Super Bowl, which the Packers aren't in. That yeah, makes me. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh. It's not even that we're not in. Like it's like we didn't even show up. Right for yeah. against Atlanta. But Anyways, go Atlanta. Um, go Atlanta <laughs> go because Atlanta. like I want. There's no one on your team I hate. And two, I yep. really hate the Patriots. Yep. Um, sorry, Patriots that's fans, the way, but that's not the way sorry. the Pats are. It's like you either love them or everyone hates them. Like, yep. Sorry, like but not sorry, hate. Patriots fans. Say we hate you because of your success. Say we hate you because we think you cheated. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> uh, whatever the case may be. Uh, or not you fans yes. specifically. Yes. Members of the team. Yes. Uh, anyways, so Super Bowl commercial. Uh, apparently, I just found this out today. I, I saw the commercial yesterday. Um, Nintendo has apparently never done a commercial during a Super Bowl. That just now Pokemon, crazy. Pokemon Go did one last year, but it was not Nintendo. Yep. Like that, like it was Niantic and the Pokemon yeah. company that, yeah. that pulled that off. Nintendo didn't really have much say in that. So this is Nintendo's first time having a Super Bowl commercial. Um, I think there's a couple reasons why this ended up being the first time. Um, and one of that being that this is one of the first times they have a console releasing so close to the Super Bowl. Right. Um, they did release the 3DS in early uh, 2011, but I don't think they thought they needed... A commercial coming right. off the DS selling 150 is almost million. Right, right, right. 3DS yeah, was yeah, selling yeah. name yeah. alone, and it yeah. didn't. It took a price cut and a lot of finagling to even get it to where it's at now. Yep. I think I think it's actually going to end up being relatively successful. I think it's uh, by the end of end of life. I think it's at 66 million right now. It's probably going to hit 70. Yeah. That's not too bad. Yeah, great. Um, I think it still makes it the lowest selling handheld, but it's a lot closer to the next lowest selling yeah. than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to stay around 50 million. So the fact that it's going to creep up to 70. Uh, yeah. Okay, Nintendo. You, you turned it around. Um, so, a Super Bowl commercial. Nintendo's first ever foray into it. We obviously watch Super Bowl every year. We're big, big NFL fans. Oh, yeah. uh, commercials are usually the best part of the Super Bowl when you don't like either of the teams in the Super Bowl. Or you don't have a cheering factor. It's like, not that I, I, oh, it's uh, not that I, I have like a, Atlanta. <laughs> no, no, no. But, uh, yeah, like, basically, it will ruin the Super Bowl, whatever. Like, if New England wins it, I'm just going to shake my head. Yeah, if Atlanta right. wins it, I'm not really going to say anything but... except for, yeah, New England didn't win it. Right. Um, so, like, <laughs> it could have been anyone against Atlanta, even, like, the Seahawks, who I'm starting to hate. Yeah. Even though I love Russell Wilson. Yeah. I still, like, when when uh, New England beat them in the last Super Bowl yeah. when they met up, like, I was mad. Oh, I was too. I don't care if Seahawks, if Seattle got a Super Bowl. I care that New England didn't get it. Right. One. Um, so... I don't really have a vesting interest because whatever I'm gonna be over it like the next day because it is what it is. The right. Patriots have been in like seven Super Bowls in the last twelve years. It's just, yeah, whatever. This is what they do. Yeah. You know, it's just like saying, "Oh, LeBron James is in the finals again." I'm like, "Okay, yeah, right. this no, is, no. he's expected yeah. to be in right. the finals." Oh, Golden State wins the wins the ring this year. Well, they're, they're kind of expected to. They got Kevin right. Durant. They're already one of the best teams, if not the best, in the NBA, and they added Kevin Durant. They're right. expected to win the yeah. NBA title. Um, so like, it's not surprising. It's fun to watch, but then after a while, it's like, oh, the expected outcomes keep happening. Uh, it's just like when Michael Jordan played. I'm sure as a Bulls fan, it was amazing, but yeah, everyone right. else just expected him to always win a ring right. every time. Right. Um, so, Super Bowl commercial. Nintendo's first foray into it. Uh, they have two versions of it, a 30-second one, which they literally called the Super Bowl commercial. Right. So I think that's the one they're going to air. Right. And then they have an extended cut of it, which I think is one like a TV ad spot. They'll probably do post-Super Bowl. Right. Uh, yeah. for, you yeah. know, when it's not $5 million for the Five and a half. Five and a half. half. For, Roughly. A 30-second ad spot. Because like, their next one's like a minute 47. Yeah. Um, to get that kind of ad spot, that's that would be what? 15, almost 20 million. Seven, 18. Yeah, but are you counting the the forty se- the extra seventeen seconds past ninety? Minute and a half. Yeah, it's oh, closer. Yeah, it's closer to twenty. Yeah, it's closer yeah. to twenty mil. Yeah. Uh, so they are definitely not going to do that. You know, um, <laughs> I'm not saying because they can't afford to. They can. It's yeah. just they don't need to. Yeah. Right. Um, right. Right. So the thirty second ad spot, we have no idea. We everyone assumes it's only going to run once because you got to pay for each time it runs. So if they run it twice. It's eleven million. Yeah. Um, so I have a feeling it's only going to run once. Don't know uh, what slot they got. Obviously, that information never becomes public because right. you know it is what it is. So it could be right. It could be in the pregame. It could be in the first quarter, second quarter. Maybe it's at halftime. We have no idea when this commercial is going to air. I'm going to be watching the whole time, so I'm probably going to spot it unless my kids yeah. log me. Yeah. Um, so the first ever Super Bowl commercial. We love Super Bowl commercials. Um, been a lot of lame ones lately, but there's always still one or two that stands out over yeah. here. Is this one that stands out to you? Uh, yes and no. Well, it's not funny. Right. For starters, people right. love funny Super Bowl commercials. Right. right. It's a very serious commercial. Right. 
And I, I think that's where the no comes in. It, 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 yes, because I'm excited by the Switch. But no, because it, it 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 doesn't, in a way, it doesn't really draw you in. You know, it doesn't, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I, I just, I've seen Super Bowl commercials, and this yeah. just doesn't. Feel like a memorable one. Feel like a memorable one, yeah. Exactly. Um, so a few thought processes, because Pokemon Go had a commercial last Super Bowl. I didn't even remember it after the yeah. Super Bowl. I really didn't. Um, I mean, I know it was like Pokemon, and they fight the stadium, and there's like Pokemon yeah. out in the yeah. real world, a street, or like whatever. whatever. Like, it was a cool commercial, but it didn't really stand out and make me want to, like, oh. But Pokemon Go went off to explode, and I think that commercial in the Super Bowl is the first time the general public became aware of Pokemon Go. Yeah. So I think it helped. It, it's hard to yeah, know because right, right. maybe Pokemon Go would have been as big as it was without that commercial. I have no idea. But I don't remember even seeing much advertising for Pokemon Go until it came out outside of that Super Bowl commercial. Yep. And it can come out until six months later. Um, whereas the Switch is going to be coming out less than four weeks from the Super Bowl. Right. Uh, Super Bowl's this weekend. Yeah, I know, I know. It's the well, Super Bowl will have already happened, by the way, by the time you watch this. Um, it's under Yeah, it's under a month. Two days under a month. Yeah. So okay. it'll be less than a month away. Um, you know, when I compare it to the Pokemon Go one, you know, what, what am I looking for out of the Switch's first ever commercial in the United States that's going to air on TV? Um, and it's one that you don't confuse anyone. Mm-hmm. Lee, you confuse people. Don't yep. confuse people. Don't just have it in tablet mode the whole time and don't show off TV. Don't show off the Switches between both. They do... In this commercial, it, it does two things. One, it shows off the most popular game they have coming out at launch. Yep. It does not shove one, two, switch down your throat in the 30 second right. ad. It just is Breath of the Wild that has the largest appeal yep. that most of the target audience that watches the Super Bowl are more likely to recognize. They're right. not going to recognize, like, one, two, switch, what is this right. weird yeah. looking yeah. thing? Right. But Zelda, a lot of those 30, 40 year olds that are watching it, you know, I'm a 30 year old, 40 year old, watch the Super Bowl. We've yeah. played Zelda. We've heard of Zelda. We right. know what Zelda is. Maybe we haven't played it in a while, but we know what right. it is. So it's going to yeah. be more recognizable. That's where the counter argument comes in about him not wearing a green tunic because maybe they won't think it's Zelda. Right. Right. But, anyways, uh, that's that's so that's totally besides the point. Traditionalist viewpoint. But at the same point, um, he is wearing the classic tunic. Not really. No. 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 Heck, in some of the games, he doesn't even wear pants. <laughs> so let's just. I'm just but like the, it's not actually a classic. Like he's not wearing anything that's a classic look. No, at all. No, no. no. So um, apparently, I have a bad memory. I mean, yeah, technically he's worn a blue shirt before in the Wind Waker pajama style, but anyways. Uh so Switch Online pricing. Oh, I'm sorry, no, sorry the Super yes. Bowl commercial. Super Bowl commercial. I'm getting confused here. <laughs> uh, I think that it is. It advertises their best game really well. Uh, I mean, speaking of advertising the game, this is the first time we see names of two bosses confirmed. Yeah. Um, spoiler warning. Uh, the the giant, uh, what is it, Bokoblin, goblin looking guy yeah. is Hinox, which is an enemy from a, a yep. prior Zelda game, a boss from a prior Zelda game. And then the uh, other thing comes out of the ground and kind of looked like some people kind of said it was Mulgara. Well, it's not Mulgara, it's Molgada or something. Yeah. Um, I can't remember the exact... It starts with an M, but it's not Mulgara, but it clearly is... It looked like a name that was related to Mulgara, so maybe um, a similar type of, of enemy as Mulgara. Uh, anyway, so... And that's the giant thing that comes out of the sand and looked crazy in the trailer. And now now we know what it's called. Uh, and there was, like, some subtext I didn't get a good look at. Yeah. Or, I don't know if it's subtext, because it was above the name. Yeah. So, I, so I don't even remember what it said, but... Yeah, super... I don't know. Yeah. So, that, I mean, that's really cool. For me as a Zelda fan, I'm like, oh, more details. Yeah, right? Every detail counts. Yeah. Uh, but the... It's weird in a way that I didn't think it was going to be weird. I think it's effective. I think it's a nice commercial. Yes. I think it's a good music choice because I know some people are critical of the music choice. Imagine Dragons, they're popular. It's yeah. just... Yep. It is what it is. You got to use it popular with the time when you're advertising. I'm like, oh, could you use a classic or use this? I'm like, got to use it popular at the time. That's all that matters. Yep. Um, so I think the music fits. I think everything looks good. I think it's a sleek commercial. I also think it's basically a Breath of the Wild commercial that throws the switch on at the end. Yeah. And 
it's okay. Like that's not. It's, I'm not saying it's bad to advertise. Right, man. Breath of the Wild's getting a Super Bowl commercial. That's awesome. But like yeah. it's not. It, it feels like this is a Breath of the Wild Super Bowl commercial, not a Switch. Right. But it's more like let's advertise Breath of the Wild, and then and we mentioned it's on Switch, and it's like, but no one knows what Switch is yet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not no one, but most people watching the Super Bowl have no idea what Switch is. Um, but I will say it's 30 seconds, so they, they have to sell the game. Right. Ultimately, the game is going to be why you buy the system. So they right. have to sell the game, but they also have to explain what the system is. And, and I think it, the commercial effectively does that in 30 yeah. seconds. I think it does too. Um, I just hope that people don't avert their eyes. Yeah. Because if you do, then you'll miss maybe some You're of the magic of the Switch. Yeah. The magic of the Switch. The, the going from this to, into TV mode. Like, yeah. Like, you know, are you going to understand, you know, when it does that, that double click thing towards yeah. the end? You know, where it clicks the, yeah. the console down and the controller, which, yeah. by the way, that was really cool. Yeah. Because we've only ever seen the controller click and now yeah. it does both at the same, like, yeah. Mm. Yeah, great. Mm. Yeah. Switch. Yep. Switch. Um, so, I, I think it's going to be effective. Um, how effective? I don't know. This is the first time the general public finds out. I basically want to see, is Nintendo Switch trending on social media afterwards? Yep. Yeah. I would say my opinion of it, it's not a memorable commercial, but it is an effective commercial. Okay. So, beyond that, uh, because that, that's the actual Super Bowl commercial, um, they released an extended version of it, which, again, neither one of us thinks is going to actually be shown in the Super no. Bowl. No. Could be a long-form TV ad. It could be an ad that we see on YouTube videos. Um, so, in this ad, they had all the same Breath of the Wild footage spread out throughout the whole thing. Right. Uh, the same Switch footage spread out throughout the whole thing. Um, it's the same song, just more of it. And they, it, did they show up anything in it besides one, two, switch? Uh, yeah, they had uh, Splatoon two. And, oh yes, they did have Splatoon uh, two. Yeah, arms. Oh yes, yeah, like yep. a brief. Well, the arm, the arms footage look awesome. Yeah, Whether or not it looks did. awesome to the general public, I have no idea. But yeah, to me it looked awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the one, two, switch stuff, very interesting. It's obviously a launch it's, game. So they right. have to. I mean, they gotta right, advertise. Right. You gotta advertise it exists. Um, some of the scenarios were a little weird. Yeah, but I think that's like some of the charm of the Switch is that it's a weird system because yeah. It, here's why it's weird. We are in an age where everything is online. Yep. Everything. That's just the way it is. And here we have a bunch of friends getting together, basically having a LAN party everywhere. Yeah. In their classroom, on the bus, yes. and a park bench, at their house, at a party. Yeah. Like, LAN parties, I'm not, they're not dead. They still exist, especially for PC gaming. LAN parties oh, are right. still a thing. But there's been console LAN parties oh, yeah. since 2003. Right. Xbox? Yeah. Yep. Like, when have we people gotten together with a bunch of systems and some TVs and done something? Oh, and yeah. the thing is, you don't have to have, have TVs, but you're still getting your systems together. Oh, yeah. Like, they showed the one guy... You know, that lucky bastard who gets to play on the big screen when everyone else is playing yeah, Splatoon yeah, on the little yeah, screen. Yeah. Which, granted, is technically a better experience for everyone because there's not split screen, so your right. eyes aren't averted. Right, right. Um, so it actually is a better experience for everyone. It's just that lucky bastard in the middle yeah, of right? the big, yeah. big TV. Yeah. Must be his TV. Yeah, that's right? usually how it works. Yep. My, or, well, that's, who won the Splatoon match? You can go play your yeah, Splatoon yep. thing. Yep. Uh, I, I have a yeah. feeling that's how it'll work for us. Like, if we're playing Splatoon against each other or Smash, yep. be like, you want to, you get the, the big yep. TV now. Yeah, yeah. You just and the thing is, what's nice is just take my system out, put yours on, it works. Yeah, it's so like yeah, right. It's actually really easy to do yeah, that. Right? To, yeah. to like make betting games between who yeah. gets to use the big screen. Um, start off as me or whoever won the last time. Right, played. right. Um, anyways, oh god, imagine, imagine if, oh, imagine the immersion of Madden. Oh, right. And how we can go through our playbooks now, knowing that we can't see each other's plays anymore. Right. Yeah. And how different it's going to feel. And well, that, yes, and, and no, that, because oh, and that oh, all of us only oh, you have to go to the, you have to go take a shit. Why are we stopping playing? Take it yeah, with right? you. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I don't know if the commercial works to sell the system because it's it's bringing up situations that I don't think anyone ever thinks of yeah. ever be seeing themselves in. Yeah. But I also think it shows just how versatile the switch is, and I think that's a good thing. Right. I think they need to communicate that this isn't your typical gaming device. This isn't your gaming tablet. This isn't your home console. This isn't one that's a home console and a gaming tablet. It's one that does something that other things don't do. Like I've heard so many so many people say, the Switch is uh, the what should we call it? Because um, it, it basically is tech wise, uh, Nvidia Shield, um, which yeah. w which is basically what the Switch what was the Switch before the Switch was a thing. Uh, and then it, it is the you know the phones with the controllers, or it is this, it is that. 
Sure. It is a device that hooks up to your TV to game, and you can game on the go with it. So, in that very similar way, it is that. And yes, in addition to that, it has motion controls and stuff. That's fine, but the traditional controls are the way you're going to play it for the most part. Yeah. However, it does that local gaming thing unlike any of those devices do. Right. And I think that's going to end up being kind of that sleeper selling point. Yep. And this this commercial, as weird as it felt seeing these weird scenarios that I'd never see myself in, <laughs> I just talked about scenarios I do see myself in. Yeah. That are depicted in there, just I'm just not out well, at a park doing it. You're or not gonna you're not gonna sell some guy in the bathroom sitting there playing a switch on the toilet. They that, did. Did they? Yes. Oh. Wow. Uh, I don't know if it was in this commercial or the oh. European one. It okay. might have been the European one, but okay. but either this commercial or the European one showed a guy with his drawers down playing oh. it on the toilet. And it's oh. like Everyone, right, everyone knows it's going to happen. Oh, right, right. Like, yeah. it's one of those, we're not going to talk about it, but reality is people try to take their Wii U tablets on the toilet. Oh, yeah. I did it in the bathtub. That's probably not a suggestion. <laughs> but, yeah, I set up my Switch one time in the middle of my kitchen so yeah. I could so I could game when I was taking a bath. Um, ah, yeah. My Switch. See, I'm already yeah. forgetting the Wii U's a thing. Yep. The Wii U, <laughs> I mean, the Wii U tablet in there. Had to, so I could get the range. Um, but, no, it's... I think the Super Bowl commercial itself, the 30-second ad, is fine. I don't think it's memorable. Yep. I don't think it needs to be memorable. The commercial doesn't need to be memorable. The branding it shows needs to be. Yeah. I think people are going to maybe not be talking about Switch, but they're going to know what it is. Right. So when someone casually brings up, hey, did you hear the Switch comes out next week? Yeah, isn't that that thing I yeah. saw at the Super Bowl? Yeah. Yep. They're not going to remember watching the commercial, but they'll remember the name. Yes. So hopefully they'll remember the, yeah. you know, the, the yep. clicks and... Uh, the cues, and they're obviously, they show Zelda enough, so hopefully they, they know Zelda's a game on it. Right. Um, and I think the second commercial, to me, might be for a totally different demographic. I don't know. But yeah. to me, like, it excited me because it made me realize, it, it kind of showed why this isn't, of where all the comparisons stop between this and what other devices like it have done before. Um, you know, oh yes, the Vita, you can stream your PlayStation 4 games on it. Okay, it's already not different because it's two different devices, but oh, whatever. So you can stream your PlayStation 4 device uh, games on your Vita, so you can already take console gaming on the go over Wi-Fi. It doesn't work as well, but it is what it yeah. is. You can do it. Yes, but you're not playing local multiplayer between eight Vitas. Right. Yeah. You still have to, well, you, and then again, you still have to have internet connection. And granted, right. that, again, it means you have eight friends who have eight switches, switches yes. right. but um, it's still... If it becomes a phenomenon like we, you yeah. will find people that have oh, yeah. Switches out there. Yep. You'll be out at the park, and you will commonly see other people walking their dogs playing Switch. Yep. Like, that's crazy to me. Um, so I think the commercials work are going to work. Hope I'm right. Yeah. I, I do, too. I, I'm almost glad they didn't go the funny route, because I think the funny route might only work with products that people already know. That's yeah, Budweiser, yeah. Yeah. et cetera. Right. Like, you already know it. You don't need to, you're not going to learn any branding from this. You just right. want people to share the commercial on social media. Right. Kind of thing. Yeah. Um,